Because we had a long spell of cold weather, we actually have not done a one-week inspection. We're looking at now 12 days. However, we did get in here to make sure the queen had been released, and we got back in here during the cold weather to replace the sugar water. So today we're gonna to do an inspection to see after 12 days how this package of bees is, is looking. During those cold days, we were, they had consumed two quarts of sugar water. We replaced, so this is the third quart. So after 12 days, two and about a half quarts of sugar water were consumed. We have more sugar water we'll give them, but we'll take that off for now. We do have some dead bees here. Remember, that package came with bees from all different ages, so there's going to be lots of bees that die. So I already see we put this cover on upside down because we wanted to give them room when we first installed them, but I do see they did draw some burr comb, so that's unfortunate. It's a waste of, waste of energy, and that's why you never, even if there's not a flow, give them extra space. Not much, just a tiny bit there. Just a tiny bit of burr comb. Not much wasted energy, but a little bit. If uh, we leave this cover, they'll fill that space between the inner cover and these frames across the whole thing. So we don't wanna do that. We, today, when we leave, we'll put it back. Now they've been using this as a top entrance, so we will wanna make sure um, we put that back in the front. They'll have to now go over the top and in, but that's okay. I'm just gonna give them this little bit of smoke. And now they're not filled out way out here, so we'll pull these frames out. So three frames, we have nothing. The next, the fourth frame from the side, we have wax with a little nectar. And we have wax here with a mix. This frame contains some nectar, some pollen. Some eggs. and even some larvae. Now, it was 12 days ago, we installed them, and they laid, the queen laid some eggs very soon thereafter. And so we have capped brood here. Bees stay an egg for three days, a larva for about six, and then capped for 12. So these will be hatching out in about 10 days. This side, about the same. Almost a full frame drawn and lots of capped brood. You can see the different coloration here. The bees were coming in at that top entrance and these are colored yellow just with the pollen that rubs off from them. This frame got some nice colorful pollen at the bottom and larva and eggs throughout. This side eggs and larva. Nice looking. See that colorful pollen. This is our fourth frame with comb, and it doesn't have much, and they're storing nectar and pollen in this frame. 
and nothing on this side. So we have a half frame, a full frame here, another full frame, and then this frame had a full side and a start. So about three full frames, if you add it up, and a little more. We've got to make sure these are tight together, or they'll draw a comb. If they're not tight together, they can draw a comb across instead of along the foundations, and that'll be a problem. So We'll go ahead and close them up and check them in about a week. Oops. We're going to put this the proper way. going to confuse them because they were going in. Now they have to go up and over. As you can see, they're bringing in loads of pollen.